What's up good guys? In this video, I will give an update on the Philippines' most ambitious and massive railway projects. Both are ongoing constructions na at ramdam na talaga ang magandang hinaharap ng bansa natin with regards to mass transportation. And take note, napakaswerte talaga ng mga millennials at Gen Z. Sa mga nagtatanong pa rin kung bakit sa railway nag-concentrate ang Duterte administration. Simple lang po ang kasagutan Dyan. Railway is the most efficient land-based mass transportation system. Lahat ng mga mayayamang bansa at first-class cities sa buong mundo ay merong dekalidad na railway system. Amazing! So sit back, relax, and enjoy my video until the end kasi 100% sure ako na marami kayong matututunan dito. Let's get into the updates right away, starting with the PNR North-South Commuter Railway or NSCR. The PNR Clark Phase 1 or yung Malolos Bulacan to Tutuban, Manila is at 51.3% completion and will be partially operational by October 2022. It will cut the travel time from Malolos to Tutuban to only 35 minutes which was at 1 hour and 30 minutes previously. Amazing! For the PNR Calamba naman, the construction of the 19 stations will start in 2022. To know more about the PNR NSCR project, let's watch them. Alam nyo ba guys na ang PNR or Philippine National Railways ay nagsimula pa noong 1892. Panahon pa ito ng mga Spanish colonial period pero meron na tayong napakagandang railway system. Mahigit kumulang sa 1,140 0.5 kilometers ang haba nito bago magsimula ang World War II. Kaya napakasarap magbiyahe noon from San Fernando La Union hanggang Ligaspi Albay noong mga panahong 1930s. At the height of its operation, the PNR was operating 47 stations serving Northern Luzon until Bicol Region. 121 years old na sana ang mga PNR trains natin kung naalagaan nga lang. Sayang, di ba? Fast forward today, this is what our current Department of Transportation is doing with its latest project, the North-South Commuter Railway or NSCR for short. Ito po ang pinakamalaki at flagship railway project ng Build 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 Infrastructure Plan ng Duterte Administration wow. in partnership with Japan International Cooperation Agency o JICA and Asian Development Bank o ADB. The North-South Commuter Railway Project is a 147 kilometer mass transportation railway system passing Central Luzon, the National Capital Region, and Calabar Zone with a total cost of 15.8 billion US dollars. Tinatawag din itong Clark to Calamba Railway kasi nga Magsisimula ito from New Clark City hanggang Calamba, Laguna. It is divided into three stages. Clark Phase 1, a 38 kilometers line from Tutuban, Manila to Malolos, Bulacan. Under construction na po siya. Clark Phase 2, a 53 kilometers line from Malolos, Bulacan to Clark, Pampanga. And Calamba, a 56 kilometers line from Manila to Calamba, Laguna. Let us watch a short video clip from JICA on the ongoing railway construction of Malolos to Tutuban NSCR Phase 1. Philippines is one of the dynamic developing Asian countries facing significant challenges due to rapid motorization and deteriorating public transport systems. In order to promote inclusive growth and improve transport system within and outside Metro Manila, the Philippine government will build a north-south commuter railway project in addition to the existing commuter railways such as LRT-1, LRT-2, MRT Line, and PNR Line. The north-south commuter railway project will utilize the old right-of-way of the Philippine National Railways and aims to providing a safe, fast, and reliable rail transport system. The Dream Plan has proposed two flagship projects, namely the North-South Commuter Railway Project and Mega Manila Subway Project. Envisioned to have a route length of 37.9 kilometers, the North-South Commuter Railway Project composes northern section of the North-South Railway Project, which is the railway master plan encompassing the Luzon Island. 
The distance from Malolos to Tutuban is 38 kilometers. By taking the train, the fastest journey time going to Tutuban is 35 minutes at 64 kilometers per hour on average. By riding on a bus or jeepney, it will take almost two hours to reach Tutuban considering heavy traffic congestion on highways. The North-South Commuter Railway features an 8-car train that can accommodate up to 2,238 person. The air-conditioned train will be made up of lightweight stainless steel that runs up to a maximum of 120 km per hour with a headway of 6 minutes in between trains. Faster transactions, more affordable operations, more efficient collection. Our transport solution makes this possible through an automatic fare collection or AFC. This will bring important benefits to the 1 million daily passengers using the rail lines not only LRT Line 1, LRT Line 2, MRT 3, but also to the future NSCR. This AFC will remove the current inconvenience of buying separate tickets for separate lines. Disaster mitigation technologies from Japan, such as seismic design method, is applied to the North-South Commuter Railway project to ensure the safety of railway structural facilities and passengers during major earthquakes, secure economical design, and provide aesthetic and slim cross-sections for structural components. Faced with the urgent need to improve connectivity of the existing and the future railway lines in Manila and the increasing desire of its citizens for live, work, and play in their communities, a transit-oriented development will be embarked in the Tutuban station area. Passengers will soon be able to easily transfer on foot from the North-South Commuter Railway project to LRT Line 2 and vice versa and new urban residential and commercial developments will be built within this 20-hectare historic property. The North-South Commuter Railway project building sustainable transport and better economy. World class na ang design ng NSCR kasi nga elevated na lahat ang railroad nito at flood proof pa. Pinag-aralan ng gusto ng JICA at Tokyo Metro ang paggawa ng NSCR na talaga namang mga experts sa paggawa ng railway system ng Japan. Desai! Bakit nga ba napakaraming railway projects ang ginagawa ngayon sa Pilipinas? Kung hindi po kayo aware, yan ang ginawang solusyon at sagot sa traffic problem ng mayayaman at mauunlad na city tulad ng Tokyo, Singapore, Seoul, New York, at Dubai. Railway transportation is the most efficient land-based mass transportation in the world. Makikita nyo sa slide na yung isang train set with 8 cabins ng NSCR can carry up to 2,238 persons. At katumbas ito ng 1,318 cars o 224 jeepneys o kaya naman 64 buses. Ganyan po kalaki ang mababawas na sasakyan sa ating kalsada once na matapos na ang NSCR at ito rin ay makakatulong ng gusto sa pagbuti ng air quality sa Metro Manila. O ba kesa naman magtiis ka sa napakahabang traffic na nakasakay sa bus, abay mas mabuti na lang na sumakay ka ng NSCR. Tipid ka na sa gasolina at maintenance ng car mo, mas madali ka pang makakauwi sa pamilya mo. Yes! Punta naman tayo sa Metro Manila Subway Project or MMSP. The DOTR just recently announced the groundbreaking of Camp Aguinaldo Station. Ang ibig sabihin lang nito ay talagang umuusad ng gusto ang proyekto at talagang on track sila sa partial operation ng tatlong subway stations late next year. Amazing! For the detailed information about this massive project, let's watch this! We will make a few years the golden age of infrastructure in the Philippines. In other words, we are going to build, build and build. At dahil dyan paparating na ang incredible na solusyon, ang Metro Manila Subway. Incredible ang scale ng Metro Manila Subway. Magmumula ito sa North Avenue hanggang FTI, na IA Terminal 3 at konektado rin sa Central Business Districts. Ito ay interconnected din sa LRT1. LRT2, MRT3, MRT7, at PNR. Incredible ang bilis na hanggang 80 km per hour. Imagine, nasa 31 minutes na lang ang magiging biyahe mo mula North Avenue hanggang na IA Terminal 3 o FTI. Incredible ang technology! 
Advanced Japanese Technology kasi ang gagamitin tulad ng sa Japan Railway System at meron din platform screen doors. Incredible ang accessibility! Dahil interconnected ito sa mga linya ng MRT, LRT at PNR, gaya ng sa North Avenue, Anonas, FTI at Lawton West Stations. Connected din ang mga stations sa iba pang public transport terminals tulad ng bus, jeep at taxi. Kaya mas mabilis mo nang mararating ang anumang destinasyon sa kamay nilaan. Incredible ang safety! Dahil flood resilient ito kahit pa sa mga bahaing lugar. Ito rin ay earthquake resistant at malayo sa fault lines. Incredible na long lasting! Ang depot ng subway ang magiging center of maintenance at magiging lugar ng Philippine Railway Institute na siyang maniniguradong tama at pangmatagalan ang magiging operation at maintenance ng subway at iba pang linya ng tren. Hindi to drawing! Dahil magbubukas ang partial operability section, ang unang tatlong stations ng subway na nasa Quirino Highway, Tandang Sora at North Avenue sa 2022. Isa lang ang hinihingi namin sa bawat Pilipino. Unstoppable support at cooperation para sa pagbabagong paparating na para sa kinabukasan natin. Paparating na ang pagbabago. Ang susunod na istasyon ay pagunlad. I never imagined na magkakaroon ng bansa natin ng subway na katulad ng mga bansang Singapore, Hong Kong, Taiwan, United Arab Emirates at Amerika. Very promising talaga ang future, lalong-lalo na para sa mga millennials kasi sila ang makikinabang ng gusto sa pagunlad ng ating mass transportation system. O oh, ayan guys, nakita nyo naman na 24-7 at walang tigil sa trabaho ang DOTR sa pamumuno ni Secretary Art Tugade na maihandog sa ating lahat ang napakagandang projects na to. Hindi lamang ito makakatulong sa pagbawas ng traffic sa NCR pero para mas lalong gawing convenient at less yung travel time natin araw-araw sa Metro Manila, Pampanga, Bulacan at Laguna. By June 2022, there will be 87 additional fully operational railway stations and 92 under construction railway stations which was only 61 stations in 2020. 16. Amazing! Para naman sa mga savvy real estate investors, this is the best time to invest. Kasi once na matapos na ang Metro Manila Subway at PNR NSCR, which are considered as SMDC prime location, 100% sure na 200 to 300 times na tataas ang capital appreciation ng mga residences malapit dito. Just to give you an example, let's watch this. Ang tanong, paano ano ba nito maaapektuhan ang mga SMDC residences na nakapaligid dito? According to the study of Colliers Philippines, isang international professional services and investment management company, lahat ng properties na 1 kilometers away from the Metro Manila subway ay tataas ng 2 to 3 times ang magiging value at capital appreciation by 2027. Amazing! Uulitin ko ha, 200 100% to 300% capital appreciation. Grabe! Mind-blowing, di ba? Ito ang number one reason why most SMDC residential developments are located near the Metro Manila subway project. Prime location. Makikita nyo sa slide yung complete map ng Metro Manila Subway at yung mga SMDC residences na malapit dito. Makikita nyo rin dito na talagang pinag-aralang mabuti ng SMDC na maipwesto sa prime location ang mga condominium developments niya. To take advantage of the 200 to 300% capital appreciation once na matapos ang subway. Amazing! Let's make a good example kung ano ba ang sinasabi ko. Halimbawa, kung mag invest ka ngayon sa SMDC Gold Residences ng one-bedroom unit na naka-pre-selling at around 7.2 million pesos with a monthly down payment of 17,000 pesos for 59 months on the first year na ma-RFO ang unit mo, it will have a maximum value of around 
21.6 million pesos! Amazing, di ba? Hindi pa kasama dyan yung magiging income mo once you start leasing out your unit through Airbnb or long-term leasing. Nag-invest ka lang ng 1.2 million pesos sa loob ng 6 years, pero... Kumita ka na ng halos 20.4 million pesos or 406,000 US dollars just by buying a property near the Metro Manila subway. As you can see on the slide, yan yung mga SMDC residences na malapit sa mga magiging station ng North-South Commuter Railway. At dahil nga considered na prime location ang NSCR, sure ka natataas ng 2 to 3 times ang capital appreciation ng mga properties na malapit dito. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more or real estate news like this and hit the bell icon so you won't miss any of my videos thank you for watching this is Desai Barreto saying let your money work for you start your real estate investment now happy investing keep safe always and god bless i'll see you in my next video bye bye